Hey guys, welcome back to Bitbyte Kilobyte. Today we are going to do something fun and interesting at the same time. We are going to build a, a skill using C Sharp as its backend. We'll be hosting the skill on Amazon, but the backend, the skill will be talking to a web API which will be built on C Sharp and will be hosted on Azure. So before we move ahead, I would like to tell you I will be using the word multiple times during the tutorial so it would be better if Alexa or echo device is near you please go ahead and mute it so that it doesn't go crazy with that let's get started so the application or the skill that we are going to build today is called a birthday tracker skill the skill by itself is very simple we are not going to make something out of the world which you are going to sell and earn a lot of profit this is just for learning and for fun, which you can do as a DIY project, maybe a project for your college, or you can just do it for fun. So the whole idea is to learn something new. Of course, you can configure these with your Google Calendar and you get phone notifications, but we are taking this a level up and making it a little bit more smarter, where you can ask Alexa, when is the next birthday you need to wish? And it will tell you that. You can also, us by name when is this person's birthday it will tell you that too and then at the end we will have also option to add new birthdays by voice where you can say add a birthday so alexa will ask the name and date of birth of that person and will let you create that record in the back end so these are the basic features the skill will have before we move forward we need to understand a little bit of our skills architecture how this works right so here as you can see this is you or the user of the skill who talks to an echo device again it need not to be a echo device it could be any smart device it could be your phone it could be your smart tv it could be a smart speaker all you need is the alexa app wherever you can talk to alexa that device is good to go so the user talks to that device. The device actually talks to the Amazon hosted voice service, which is a natural language processor. It actually listens to your voice and converts them to commands. These commands will now go to the skill, which we are building here. And the skill actually acts as a ear and mouth for the device. It will hear what you are saying through the voice service and send those commands to our backend. Our backend will be hosted on Azure. It will be running a C-sharp web API, which will be built on .NET Core. And at the end of the tutorial, we will also store data in a database within Azure. Once you process whatever commands has been sent to you, you will send a response back to the skill, which will in turn go back to the device and the device will speak that response to you. That is how the skill works. I just want to let you know that we are using Azure here, but traditionally you can use AWS Lambda to host your skills backend. But I wanted to do it this way. I wanted to try something different and actually call an external API, which I have built on C Sharp. Few terminologies that you need to know because I will be using them throughout this tutorials. One is request. So request is any time that the skill makes a call to the backend code that is called a request. Now that request actually initiates based on your actions, your communication with the device. In the request, what the skill does is it sends you important information for you to process. There are flags, there are identifiers, there are data. Depending on those things, you will have to decide how you want to handle that request and send it back as a response to Alexa. Next is intent. So whenever you are talking to the device, you intend to do something, right? That's called an intent. A skill is made up of these requests, these intents and dialogues, which actually build a skill. What you process from these intents actually comes back as a response. So intent is nothing but something that the user is trying to do. So we need to build those intents and use them in our skill to be sent to our backend. Now, dialogues are something which the device talks to you, right? A dialogue could be a single dialogue or it could be a series of dialogues where it captures data from you. That data is sent 
through the request to our backend and we process that data and provide a response to Alexa. Moving forward, in our requirement, first feature that we wanted to support was when is the next birthday? We want to ask the device, when is the next birthday I need to wish? For that particular intent, we will create an intent called next birthday intent. So this next birthday intent is nothing but an identifier of that specific user's action or user's demand from Alexa. The next feature that we wanted is the ability for us to ask Alexa, when is this person's birthday? That we are calling as a named birthday intent, where we are passing a name and expecting Alexa to respond with the birthday. And the third intent or feature that we wanted is the ability to add a birthday. We are calling it add birthday intent. Don't get worried about these namings here. We will get to know these when we proceed further. Now, some of the requirements uh, are prerequisites for you to work through with me to build the skill. You need to have a basic ability to code in C Sharp. If you don't have that, that's okay. There is a series that I have on my channel where I'm teaching C Sharp from scratch. Uh, you can watch that and maybe then come back here if you are totally new to C Sharp. The next requirement is you need to have a basic understanding of web APIs. If you don't have it, you just follow along with me. I will teach you in the way of building this and the web API that we are building is not going to be very crazy. And anyways, web APIs are easy to build. So a basic understanding is recommended. If you don't have, just follow along with me. One thing that is absolutely required is an Amazon account. And this could be the very same account that you use for shopping on Amazon. You need to use that account to log into Amazon's developer console. If you're doing it for the first time, it may, it might ask you a few extra questions, but at the end it, you will be landed to the developer console. We will start from there. Okay. The next thing that we need is a free Azure account. So if you are signing up to Azure for the first time, you will get one year worth of free services. They give you $200 to use. Now, if you have used that quota, there are st still free services that you can access. Whatever we are going to use today is going to be absolutely free. So even if you are beyond that one year of free Azure service, you are good to go. All you need to do is if you don't have that, create a Microsoft account and we will tell you how to log in to Azure. The next thing, since we are going to code in C Sharp and .NET Core, I would need you to have Visual Studio. If you don't have it or if you don't know how to set it up, again, refer to my uh, C Sharp tutorial chapter one, that's where I show you step by step how to install Visual Studio. And of course you will need Windows or a Mac PC to do the coding. And then, as I said, it's recommended you have an Echo device. If you don't have it, you can access the skill on your Alexa application on your phone, or for that matter, any smart device like a smart TV or a smart speaker. So Echo device is not a requirement, but if you have it, very good. So that was the introduction. Uh, now move to the next video where we will actually start developing the skill on Amazon's developer console.